Hello, YouTube lesson two. Um, in this lesson, we're going to create the um, doing some simple visual effects compositing. We're going to be creating uh, this cool little scene, which is made up of a few different elements. Um, we've got a background, foreground, and the robot, and we've also got a shadow. If you have a look there. Um, now, I'm going to create a new script. Start from the beginning. No, I don't want to save it. Okay, so back to defaults. Um, now, the idea of visual effects compositing is not necessarily about creating something that looks real. It's a balance between creating something that looks heightened, exciting, and appealing, um, obviously creating something that looks real, and also creating what the audience think they should see. Um, for example, Let's say you have a gun that doesn't muzzle flash, but audience will think that doesn't look real because there's no muzzle flash. You then have to give them that muzzle flash, even if it wouldn't necessarily have one, um, just because they expect to see it, which, you know, is a bit sad, but, you know, that, that's what you do. It's what it's all about. Um, so let's start off by importing our footage. Um, I think we remember how to do it from last time. Um, I'm going to use Finder. I've got my shadow. Um, and also through these tutorials, I'm going to be um, getting faster and faster because um, I know you'll be able to keep up more and more. Where was it? Foreground. And background. Beautiful. So we've got a few elements here. What do we have? We've got a uh, background plate, which if I hit the space bar, we can see. Looks pretty cool. Instead of middle clicking, you can alt left click to look around. This is a 1920 by 1080 full HD shot. Um, we've got a foreground, which is also full HD. Um, we've got our robot oh, and we've also got a shadow so to start off with we're gonna have our background and we want to put our foreground sorry did I sorry about that we're going to put our foreground over our background. Now to rename these, because at the moment they're called file in 3, 4, 2 and 1. Um, you right click on the right hand side to load its parameters, like mentioned last time. And we're going to call it background. Change this one to 4, ground. It's all going on here, isn't it? Uh, robot and this one is our shadow. I can imagine. Hello, Lily. Hello. You right? Uh huh. I'm recording a video for my YouTube people. How do you feel about that? Um, so to put our foreground over our background, we're going to need a new node. Um, it's called an overnode. Um, we go to our layer panel. Choose over, and basically whatever's plugged into the left-hand side will be over the top of what's plugged into the right-hand side. So we'll put our background in the right one, and our foreground in the left, which will put our foreground over our background. Um, and then to put our robot over that, we're going to choose our over one node, <laughs> and then basically whatever node you have selected, it's going to insert the new node next to that. So add a new over node, um, but we want the that to be plugged into there just like last time and voila we've got a robot but as you can see the robot is actually um, too small and that's because our foreground and background are much higher resolution than our robot so we're going to need a resize node so choose our over one and then find our resize node which is in transform resize we we'll want to change it to uh, 960 by 540, which is the size of our robot footage. 
if you don't know what size the robot footage is, choose it and add a resize there, and it will show you the size of the size of the um, node that's attached to it. But we can get rid of that, so choose it and hit the delete key. Um, to add the shadow, what we're going to do, choose this resize node because we want to insert our new node into here. Um, there's another way to insert a node. If you have nothing selected, um, we're going to add a brightness node to use this, so choose brightness in the color panel. Um, give it a shake. It will disconnect itself. You can just insert it right there. Should be able. Oh, maybe they've got rid of that feature. <laughs> Never mind. Um, and we're going to use this shadow. If we just have a look at it, that's what it is. We're going to plug that into the side. See where it says M. Plug it into the M, and that is creating a mask. Now, if we double click our brightness, we'll double click our over and click the right hand side of our brightness. To load its parameters, and as you can see, we've now got some mask options here. Load that down and. Because it's actually an image as opposed to an alpha channel, we're going to change it to the green channel because that's just color channel. I'm going to invert the mask because generally speaking, whatever white is visible, and as you can see, our mask, most of it's white. So invert the mask, and then we can scroll down here and change the value. Um, 0.25 and now we've got a cool shadow under our car. Um, our robot's colour doesn't look the best right now so to change that we're going to do an add node that's also in our light um, colour panel. Um, choose our robot, press add and by default if we press the plus key here to see more options press the plus key again by default if we move the red as you can see the green and the blue are linked automatically, we don't want that um, turn them all back to zero um, if we press the plus on the green we can see that it's telling it's been told to link it to the red so if we put zero there it's then not going to be linked to anything um, you can create links between values so for instance if I shift click the blue and drag it onto the green you can see if we scroll down here, we've cre it's created a cool little script that means that whatever the green is, um, whatever the blue is, the green will also equal that. As you can see, they're moving together, but set them both to zero. Um, we'll set that one to zero and this one to negative 0 0.25. Oh, 0 0.0 like that. Um, um, <laughs> and now we've changed the colour of our robot a bit. We've created a nice little tree. If you hit um, go to our, to our no tree view, hit the L key, it will lay it out lovely. Let's see, Lily, how pretty does that tree look? <laughs> Lily, how pretty does the tree look? It looks really pretty. That's what I thought. Okay. So we've now created our node tree, we've done a simple composite, and we're going to be taking this exact same project you further. Well, I didn't know, I, I didn't, this is like stock yeah, footage. I know, you would have been impressed if I made it, but I hadn't. Um, and I don't own this footage, by the way, guys, and I'm not pretending to. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put that in like the side description. Um, but <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Don't Look be out mean for in your three. comments, though, because some of you are, and it's really upsetting. What? Sometimes they're mean when they comment, and it's really mean. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, okay, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Um, take it step by step, take it slow, and practice with your own footage. So, thank you very much. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>